So we're actually going to be talking about this chase glitch scam thing that's going on. From my understanding, it's people writing bad checks. Okay, so they're writing, <laughs> sorry, it's just ridiculous. When I heard about this, I'm like, that's what this glitch is. That's not a glitch, that's check fraud. That is literally check fraud, which is a crime. More of a white collar crime, but it's a crime nonetheless. But anyways, so essentially people are doing check, committing check fraud. So what they're doing is in this chase glitch, um, which is just bullish, you're committing fraud. What they're doing is they are getting a check. You know, you get checks from the bank and it has your routing number and all that other stuff uh, or your account number, whatever. They're writing a $10,000 check out to themselves deposit it via electronically or maybe some are actually going to the bank itself inside which I usually go inside of the bank I don't do the drive-through but some people are doing the drive-through that's what it appears to be they go and deposit this check now it says you have pending funds of ten thousand dollars right they then take out they go to the bank whatever hey let me go they take out somehow or they transfer this $10,000 funds wherever they do it. Wherever this money's going, I don't know. Wherever they're personally doing it. And then they're like, look, Chase gave me free money. So everyone, you need to jump on this bandwagon because you're going to get free money from Chase. That's how it works. Then you have all the Negroes. And yes, this is just how I talk. Then you got all the Negroes that go up in there and they're like, oh, yeah, we got free money. Woo. And you just committed check fraud. You know, you could go to prison for that, right? How do y'all not know this? You know, so when I was, when I was hearing about it, I'm looking... I was like, is that what y'all dumb mother are doing? I'm like, I do realize that's illegal, right? Because all Chase is going to do is see, okay, you don't have that kind of money to be depositing to yourself. This is not a valid check. Um, Let me just go and take this money back. Now you owe me $10,000. How was that a glitch? How was that a scam? If anything, I mean, come on, y'all. Let, let's do more unconventional, like YouTube or whatever. Do more unconventional legal ways to make money. This ain't it, because this is literally committing fraud, okay? This is like what people were doing with the PPP loans, claiming they had a barbershop business out of their house and they have 50 employees w living out of a two-bedroom, working out of a two-bedroom apartment, okay? This is equivalent to that and what's happening to them that's called wire fraud <laughs> and these people got caught unless you are your uh marjorie taylor greens and all those kind of people who got all these checks and they got them um, zeroed out they got them um, you know they didn't have to pay them back or anything got them forgiven unless you're one of those people who got money and i'm talking about millions and billions of dollars um yo dumb needs to just be going to work okay do something else sell you know sell some toe pictures or something okay and if y'all want to go and buy some toe pictures for me i got the hookup okay let me know dm me but anyways you know so i'm looking i'm like okay what are we doing this is the glitch i mean you guys are committing literal check fraud which is a federal offense but let's go ahead and look at this guy's recount of it also, if y'all want to go and follow your girl, go ahead and do it. How do you even do it? Um, it's a view profile or something. I don't be on here like that. Go and follow your girl. Um, where's my name? Alexander N. Alexandria. Okay, that's moi. I don't post hardly anything on here, but when I do, you know, there's that. All right. Anyways, let's get back into the actual story, though. Non-stop. That's one thing. That's why I don't like TikTok. Cause these videos just be auto playing. Homeboy looks like um he looks like like that one white boy. Oh god, he looks like Homeboy Joe from You. <laughs> That's what he looks. He looks like his brother. But anyways, let's get into it. For the past two days, I've heard nonstop about this whole Chase Bank glitch scheme, right? 
And I thought this whole time it was this elaborate, uh, big scammer, like breakthrough or something like that. Turns out the whole time it's just basic check and wire fraud. So for those of you who don't know how it works, basically what these dumb motherfuckers did is they took their own Chase bank account, right? And they made a bad check, a check for like 50000 or up. A check that will bounce. Okay, y'all. It's a check that will bounce. This is not... It's... it's PPP loans, wire fraud, this bad checks, check fraud. This is not legal, okay? This is no, oh, it's a new thing. This is called fraud that you can't get arrested for. And you got to pay the money back. Up ...that they couldn't, like they knew they couldn't cash, right? They wrote a check to themselves that they knew they could not cash. And then what they would do is they would either try and withdraw it or they would try and just wire it to Nova County and close their Chase bank account. These fucking idiots, bro. Like, the fact that they ha call that a glitch is just... Oh, how in the fuck are you going to go out there and commit a federal felony and not know what sh like what a bad check is, what wire fraud is? You thought it was a glitch? It goes to show that, you know, uh, that episode of South Park where they were doing the whole 9-11 conspiracy all those years ago? It was George W. Bush, the character. He was all like, well, we got to make people believe it and all because a fourth of the U.S. population is retarded. They weren't lying. That shit's true. That shit's not fiction. That shit's for real. I truly do believe that there is a significant portion of the U.S. population that is in some way, shape, or form mentally handicapped. That is not all there mentally. That is just not capable of critical thinking. Like, they cannot deviate between fantasy and reality. They think it's like a video game. Like, that's why they called it a glitch, like from Grand Theft Auto. Like, they legitimately think, oh, this is just free money I can print out of thin air. Motherfucker, do you know what the IRS is? Do you know... How the feds operate? Do you know, like, e do you know every dollar that you own has a serial number on it, right? You can't just print money out of thin air, you dumb fuck. All this shit started back in 2021 when people were doing PPP loan fraud. Remember that? Yeah, so I used to deliver furniture back then for a big corporate southern uh, furniture company, right? We delivered all over the area, and man, the amount of people doing PPP fraud was crazy. You had Man Man's Hands LLC, you had LaShondra's Wigs LLC, you had fucking <laughs> Jessica. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One, I'm just mesmerized by his beauty, one. But two, I mean, he said you had Cassandra's LOC. Oh, I, I sell wigs and I have a multi-million dollar operation with 1,500 employees and we are all working out of my fat five, bat, five bedroom house. Um, I don't think so. Oh, uh, Uncle Bill's LLC. Oh, I sell car parts out of my basement. You know what I mean? It's like, who y'all lying to y'all and a lot of these people got caught okay and i know personally <laughs> a couple people got caught and one of them i'm not because <laughs> that lady she had she had beef with me for some reason she had smoke okay and i was like you know what i'm gonna laugh at you because you are a dummy, okay? But let's just continue. And no, I never took out a PPP loan. You go ahead and go and check the records. I had family members that was like, oh, them PPP loans. You want, oh, Alice, you got a business. You want to go? Ah, uh, no. Low sales to no sales. And I ain't making, I don't have any employees. So why would I need a loan? The loans were for people who actually had businesses and it was to keep their employees from having to be fired. That's what it was for. So that these people could help out and keep their employees employed while this pandemic was going on. This was not free money so you go on a cruise. Because avocados and menopause LLC, all kinds of bullshit LLCs, and I would deliver furniture to these people. And the company I worked for, they didn't do in-house financing or anything. You had to either pay with cash, credit card, or you had to get get approved for a loan through like a local loan company. That was it. We didn't do repos or anything like that. You paid for it. And all these broke ass bitches had money to afford eight thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars worth of furniture. I remember this shit too. And like my coworker, he was from the area. He's like, yeah, they're doing PPP fraud. They're doing that. They're doing this. Like their LLC ain't worth a shit. Like it's not actually a real business. Man, you got people living in fucking shacks, living in trailers that are falling apart. Forrest came in, loose 
roofs leaking and shit, and they're fucking out here getting um, a fucking $8,000 love seat, recliner, and sofa fucking combo. It's like, sir, ma'am, you need a new fucking kitchen counter. You need a new roof. You need a fucking John Deere to cut the fucking grass that's fucking six feet fucking tall that could fucking try out for the fucking NBA. A lot of those people never went to jail over it. They never got caught. Only the sloppy ones got caught. And then in 2022, you had the DoorDash scheme where people were ordering shit and not having to pay for it. DoorDash got some of them, but no one really went to jail for that one. I, I didn't know about that, about the DoorDash one. I had no clue about that, but I did know about these other ones. Now, not obviously I didn't, I wasn't in furniture. I wasn't working with furniture or delivering or anything like that. But I did know that people were just creating these fake phony baloney. Oh, I have Latrice Limited with 50 employees and I work out of this room right here. Y'all, the room that I'm in is not big, okay? This is maybe big enough, maybe for a seven foot pool table, maybe. And that's gonna be tight, okay? So the room I'm in already is not a big room at all. And people would say like a room like this got 50 employees selling lip gloss and candles. You know what I mean? It's like, who y'all lying to? And I think that's when the feds caught on to it because this is all a federal crime. For those of you who don't know, the feds is mo like fed the federal prison system is modern day slavery. So in the federal prison system, you have to, it's not like a lot of state prisons where you can just sit on your rack all day, right? You have to have a job. You will do all kinds of jobs, like assembly lines, fucking sewing, knitting, making shit. They make all kinds of shit over there. They do all kinds of industrial work there. And they only pay their prisoners 10 cents, at maximum 10 cents an hour, something like that, for jobs that in the civilian world would pay you like 20, 25, or 17 bucks an hour. So it's literal modern day slavery. Real quick, this is a side note, something I was watching earlier, and I was thinking about maybe doing a video on it. Alabama, um, a more perfect union. The they have an Instagram and they have a uh, YouTube. Um, I was actually watching them. That smells so good. Uh, but I was actually watching them, and they actually went to Alabama, and they were seeing that these people who were in prisons and jails, they were working at McDonald's. Like this was legal, but they weren't getting paid. And if they were getting paid, it was almost nothing. Like what he was saying. And they're working at McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King's and all that. But you can't get a job for 15, $20 an hour. Sorry for my allergies. But you can't get a job for 15 to $20 an hour. And yes, you should be able to, anyone who's working full time should be able to afford a one bedroom apartment at the bare bones. Um, but you can't get a job, but they're giving these people a job. And that's pretty much free labor. So make it make sense. And they prey on people who are not financially, like, educated or just fucking stupid. But there's got to be one. Like, come on, bro. We live in the age of... We live in the age of information. You can Google anything. And in 2023, that's... I think that's when the feds caught on. They were just like, we really don't have to do a lot of work. We can just let these dumb motherfuckers come to us and indict themselves. For those of you who don't know as well, the feds have a 98% conviction rate. They don't fucking lose. They will wait around for forever to get your ass and throw... Just because they didn't get you today, man, I took I took out a twenty thousand dollar PP loan. I'm good. Just because they didn't get you today doesn't mean they're not gonna get you tomorrow or the next month or five months from that or a year from that or two years from now or three years from now. They, your mama, and the IRS. Okay, do not mess with those. All right, the IRS. If you want to, ooh, but I, guess what? I ain't got to pay you. <laughs> They'll see you in court. They'll see you in prison. Okay? Don't do it. Pay pay your taxes. Okay? If y'all need a tax dude, I got, as long as you're doing legit stuff, I got a tax dude up in Hoopston, Illinois. Okay? So, if y'all need, okay? And he's professional. He has the whole, he has his own firm, all that stuff. Okay? So, he has all of that. All right, these are professionals. Get your taxes done. Go to Turbo Tax. Go to what is it, Hewitt and whatever. Go to that if that's what you do. Okay, or go to somewhere local. Or you could do it yourself if you know how to do it. But there's so many different intricacies in the tax code. It'll be per, it'll prefer it'll be behooved to you to actually go and get a professional to do it. Please do not be out here committing this fraud.
this tax fraud. Let's please not do that, okay? Because all you're doing is hurting yourself because once they find out that you were on that ish, they're gonna say, oh, oh, oh. Alex took out a $20,000 PPP loan, okay? Hmm, let me see what I can do, okay? Well, let me, <laughs> let's go get arrested for wire fraud. Do y'all really wanna get arrested for wire fraud? And I know some people, <clears throat> knew that one Hayden chick okay who took out PPP loans was working at a federal government job which is the post office and no your tax dollars do not go there it is made from deals and contracts with like the post office UPS whatnot and also it is made from you know the sales of stamps clothing merchandise stuff like that it is not tax dollar ran driven just so people know and this chick lost her job because of it. Hmm. She was a bully, so I don't care. You know, but I'm looking, I'm like, you had a job where, granted, you're not, you weren't making $20 an hour there, you know, from her position, from my understanding. She may have gotten it at that time, but from my understanding, you weren't making 20 but you make the money with the overtime. And the job was easy, okay? Me, put me on the spibs or the FedEx truck. I could go and slang, 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 okay? So I was just like, why would you, why would you ruin this? Which you could have gotten a pension. I mean, your retirement, all this stuff. Why would you ruin this job? And for the post office to fire you, you would have had to be stealing or committing some fraud like this. So why would you jeopardize this job for 20 grand over here, where if you were smart, you would just make sure that you work, get on the ODL, overtime, overtime desired list, and you would just make your money. Why are we taking these shortcuts? Especially when you got a job like this. You're not a Marjorie Taylor Green. You're not any of these rich that went and stole this money and got it forgiven. They don't play, they play games with them. They don't care. They're not going to play games with you. So why would you do that? You know, but whatever. And, and then y'all told y'all. Your ass in federal fucking prison that, that they'll wait for years. They don't have a time limit on how long they can watch you for. And that's what they're preying on. They're preying on that. You just keep on. So a lot of people are about to get picked up because then you had the, uh, what was it, the PayPal scheme like a year ago? The PayPal glitch, they called it the same thing. It was the same shit. People pr making money that didn't fucking exist for fucking fraud. Now they're just compiling evidence to lock up as many people as possible. So now you got people who are about to go to prison for PPP loan fraud, who they've been watching this whole time. Probably maybe a couple for the DoorDash scheme as well as... Because the all it's all the same people that did all four of these schemes. I guarantee you the same group of people did it. And then the uh, PayPal scheme and now the Chase Bank. Do y'all not know who JP fucking Morgan is? He is directly connected. It's federal fucking government money. Like you, mm. and, and the thing about it is too, I just cannot believe people crashing out mad as fuck that they can't withdraw the money that doesn't exist out of their fucking ATM or wire it to never count. You know, all they have to do, all Chase Bank has to do is call. There's two banks you don't mess with, Navy Federal Credit Union and Chase Bank. That, those are the two you don't mess with, right? You messed with one, one, the top fucking dog. They literally call every other fucking bank and be like, do not let this person make an account. So now all the money's fucking missing there. So if you spent it, you're really fucked. Um, if you didn't, well, now you got to pay overdraft. You got to pay fucking transfer fees, everything. And you're still going to get, you're probably still going to go to prison anyway. Get fucked. You're probably going to get, still get hit with wire and credit fraud, uh, check fraud, excuse me. Like the money was never real. It was just a digital number on a digital fucking screen. It never existed. You can't just, you're not a fucking genie. You can't just poof something in a fucking existence. And it's so, I hate stupid people. I really fucking hate stupid people. So it's just infuriating to see people crashing out, arguing mad as fuck on Facebook, on X, on fucking, on fucking TikTok on here, bragging about the 50 grand that they stole and how they can't, and crying that they can't get it out. Now it's like, you're going to federal prison. It's just, it's, I, I'm so against modern day slavery. I, I really am against it. But damn. Like, you're really, I really don't feel bad for you. I honestly hope 
You're so stupid. I, I hope you go to prison. I hope you just don't go to prison. I hope they put you on a fucking island. They ship you out on a boat to an island so when you finish your sentence, you cannot leave. Because stupid people should be put on a fucking island away from everyone else and not infect the fucking G-Pool. But if you did do the glitch, the fraud, the check fraud, just enjoy it. You know, if you already spent the money, enjoy, enjoy your next less than a year, I'd say, of freedom. They're not going to come and get you tomorrow, I'd say, but they're going to wait a little while and just kind of let you sweat it and then they're going to come get you. Um, like I said, 98% conviction rate doesn't build itself. So enjoy what little time you have, you know, enjoy time with your family and whatnot, because you're going to be building fucking license plates pretty soon um, in some fucking factory in Pennsylvania. I'm so glad my dad told me when I was a very young boy, when I was like, hey, my dad told me the most valuable thing ever. He said, son, ain't nothing ever free. I was like, dad, what do you mean? He said, nothing's free here in America. You're going to pay for it one way or another. Everything is bought and paid for. You're going to pay for whatever it is you take in this life, whether you realize it or not. And I think that's the problem. You, a lot of people don't have good parents in their life that teach them these things. And that's stuck with me for a long time. So I've always looked at things. Whenever someone gives me some shit or ever I hear the word free, I know that it's bullshit. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's crazy what people will fall for these days. So I just wanted to show that to you all because... People honestly think that they could just get free money and Chase supposed to be like, you got me. Oh, you got me. Oh, you got me. Did I show you? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yo, oh, you got me. You know, so people think that they could just like, like Chase just be like, oh, I don't know what to do. I guess you could just have the money. Y'all, this is JP Morgan Chase. <laughs> it's a no that people really went and did this and y'all just thought that y'all were just going to get over because well what are they going to do i don't know maybe send you to federal prison i don't know maybe maybe i'm crazy i don't i don't know what do i mean what do i know you know i don't know y'all but people gonna learn one of the one of these days okay people gonna learn or will they? I don't know. What y'all think about this? Did y'all commit some of that fraud? Okay. And if you did, you know, I ain't no snitch. And don't be snitching on yourself. Just say a friend of mine. Okay. <laughs> because people out here playing games. Hello, hello, hello. I would greatly appreciate it if you can actually support my little small business called Latrice Limited. It is on latricelimited.com. So as you can see right here, I actually sell candles and a wide variety of other items as well. This is my big forehead, okay? Um, but I actually want to show you just a couple of different items that I do sell. Um, this is actually going to be a part of my soap collection that I have. As you can see, I have a variety of different soaps on here. I actually have two pages worth of soaps and um, everything is handmade, okay? Natural, clean ingredients as well. Um, you can also see right here, these are my candles, all right? They're all handmade, everything. Vanilla, sweet roses, uh, sage and vanilla vanilla and sweet roses are actually my favorite scents that i do have i also have a few other items on here i'm actually going to go and show you all the bath bombs that i do have as you all can see there's eucalyptus and sage uh sweet pea harmony and so many more and then we're just going to finish off on the gift sets that i have there's a variety of them from like the big ones like this for 45 and then you have some of the smaller ones and you have these itty bitty ones down here that includes this essential oil blends definitely shop with your girl definitely help your girl out i would greatly appreciate it this is like my little baby over here, okay? <laughs> um, I would greatly appreciate it and enjoy.